Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2023 Chevrolet Silverado. And we're gonna do the front grill chromely installation for this vehicle. So for some trim levels of the Silverado, the panel here for the front grill is chromed out. So for this one, it's already blacked out. But I'm gonna show you guys how to go about the installation in case your vehicle does come with the chrome grill panel here. So we're gonna use a white material. That way you can see with the color of the film how to go about the installation. And if you like the product, the link for the product will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's start with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the front grill. So to prep it, all you need is a spray bottle. Add water inside the spray bottle and add three drops of baby shampoo to mix it and create your solution. Once you have your solution ready, spray the solution onto a clean microfiber towel and just start cleaning off any contaminants that the panel may have. So you wanna make sure that the panel is completely clean and also dry as well, because if there's still some water on the panel and it gets on the adhesive side of the film, it's not going to stick even with heat. So you wanna make sure the whole panel is completely clean before starting with the installation. Okay, so once you finish prepping the panel, now we can start with the installation. So for the first small piece that we're going to start with is we're going to start off by installing the middle section of the panel here. So this small curve here, you're going to install it right underneath the panel here. That way you can do full coverage underneath and there's no chrome showing for this section of the panel. So just make sure you align it right on the edge and you can use this plastic trim of the panel as a guide to align the film. So place it and just use your finger as you go in order to align it. And it should cover everything on the bottom. And it should cover the section on the curve here. Grab your squeegee and start tacking on the film. And then for this section here, start applying heat. That way we help the film tack down to this small curve here. Okay, so just apply a little bit of heat and then just slowly, little by little, help it tack down. And if you happen to have any excess material underneath here, you would just use your blade and trim it off, whatever is still excess. And then once you finish trimming off, we could move on with the next install, which would be the other small piece that covers this section right here. So now we're moving on to this piece here. So it'll be the next piece that looks like a curve. So for this one, we created a small design in order to fit the curve here. So what you need to do is make sure, just place it there, that way it doesn't get dirty on the rest of the panel and just align it right to this curve here. So this section of the film should align to this curve here. So give yourself in the material, leave it like that and then apply pressure and see if it's covering the panel on the inside. If it is covering the panel on the inside here, then you're good to go. But if you see that the material is still not covering the inside here, then just lift it again and readjust it and then test it out again. And now it's covering perfectly underneath here. And now all we need to do now is finish off with the rest. So just make sure you're following the design of the panel. And the film does overlap with this one just a little bit. So just help it tack down around the curve. Take your time. And we're doing this just to avoid any creases on the film here. Since it is a curve, we want to avoid creasing the film. Okay, once you have the film around this area where the headlight is, just lift the film carefully tack it down with the squeegee that way it covers up to the edge of the panel here since it is a small area to work with just make sure you take your time and tacking down the film make sure it covers everything and the last thing to do before we move on to the next piece is make sure we seal the top edge here so if you notice it is lifting on some areas all you need to do is apply heat around those areas and then slowly seal them with the squeegee or with your finger So once you finish sealing the top layer, now we can move on to the next piece, which is this long section here. So now we're moving on to this middle section here. So for this one, this is the design of the film that goes in this area. So with this one, just start by placing the film anywhere on the panel here where it's clean. You want to start by aligning this section of the film right around the middle section of the panel here. So there is a small design where you can see on the vehicle where it cuts right in the middle. So if you align it right in the middle, it should be good. And just give yourself a little bit of material 
to cover the top piece. So you make this design so it could tack down underneath and cover the panel here. So it should be like this. If you happen to pass it just a little bit, that's fine because the other film is going to overlap. As long as you meet it roughly around the middle section, it should be perfectly fine. Once you have it aligned here, just tack down this section. We'll come back later and apply heat around this area. Something to keep in mind though, for this part here, the film doesn't cover the panel here, right underneath the emblem. Reason being is because we're only covering what touches the actual panel, which is this flat surface here. It doesn't cover this area where the emblem's at. So it only covers this flat area here. So once you place it and tack it down, lift the film carefully and just align it to the rest of the panel here. So just take your time in placing the film. And if you need to realign it, just lift it carefully and continue where you left off. And just make sure you're covering the panel on this area too. And it's exactly like this. All you need to do is just help it align and that's pretty much it. We could leave this area like that. But right now we can just come back and just start tacking down the whole film. Make sure to remove any air bubbles that are behind the film. This area should cover the curve here. So just help the film tack down underneath as well. And we are going to have a little bit of extra material underneath the panel here. You just trim it off. But just right now, we're just making sure it covers everything. And now let's finish off here. So the same steps that we did for this panel, we'll just rinse and repeat here. Lift it, fold it just a little bit, and then just help it tack down inside. It is a small area to work with, so just take your time when you're applying this film. So once you finish applying the film here, the next step is applying heat just to remove any small fingers that are around the curved area of the panel and also helping tack down on this section here since it's still lifting. So just apply heat to seal the edges. Okay, once you finish sealing the whole panel, now we can move on with the next piece, which would cover this upper section here. Okay, so now we're moving on to this top panel here. So with this one, how we did it with this design, same thing here, there is a small curved design. We did this in order to have coverage on the side panel here. When you're aligning this film, make sure you align it to cover the inside curve first. And remember, keep in mind, it's not covering the chrome or the panel where the emblem is connected to. So this section here underneath, it's not covering that. So keep that in mind. And once you have it aligned there, place it and work your way to the other end. Once you get around this area, same thing. Lift the film, fold it just a little bit and just tack it down. So once you finish placing the film, grab your squeegee and start removing any air bubbles that are behind the film. And now the last thing to do, apply heat just to seal the top edge before we move on to the last piece for this middle section. Okay, so now that we're done, we're going to install the last piece, which is for this top section here. Okay, so now we're moving on to the top piece for the middle section. So with this one, it has a cutout on the design here. So just align this section here to this section of the emblem. So once you have it aligned, place the film down and then just cover this section here. Use your finger to guide it, lift the film carefully and just follow along the design of the panel. So it should be like this and it should cover up to the edge there. We'll leave it like that. Once the film has been placed, you grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film. So just be careful, take your time. You don't want to accidentally crease the film. And once you get around this area, just help it tack down as well. And all this excess material that we have, we could trim off. Just make sure if you could tuck in some of the material, just tuck it inside. That way you have more coverage on the panel. But anything that can't be tucked in, then we would just trim it off, okay? So now grab your blade and just take your time trimming off all this excess material. And then once you're done trimming off the excess material, apply heat so we can seal the edges that we trimmed off and anywhere else where the film is still lifting. 
So once you finish trimming off the excess material, grab the heat gun and just start applying heat all around the film just to help it secure it. And then once we're done with this section, we can move on with the upper piece of the grill here. So now we're moving on to the upper piece. So for this section, we did cutouts to cover the panel underneath the grill here. So you wanna start by aligning this section of the film to the alignment of the panel here and just align it to the panel. And once you have it aligned, just slowly make your way to the other end and just make sure you're covering the whole panel underneath here. And any excess material we'll just trim off in this gap between the plastic of the grill and the actual panel. And if you need to lift and realign it, you can. Just take your time doing this method. You don't want to accidentally rip the film. Just make sure you're doing full coverage. And now you grab your squeegee and just start tacking down the film underneath here. And now just apply heat just to help it tack down better. And now that everything's tacked down, you grab your blade and trim off all the excess material. And now we're moving on to the next piece. It would be the same thing. It's just covering this section of the panel now. Okay, so just continue where you at left on. So with this one, we kind of need to tuck in the film underneath the panel. So in between the panel and the headlight, as you can see, tuck it in inside like this. Once you have it tucked in, place it and hold it in position and it should cover like this. It's a little hard to get in, but just take your time, tuck in inside to cover the piece here. Because it is a small area, you're gonna have to do this method or if not, just leave it as is, but the chrome will show. But this is just to cover the chrome underneath here. Then grab your squeegee and tack it down. And now we're going to apply heat just to seal the edge here, and then we should be good. Okay, and now we finished installing this whole section here. And now we move on to this middle panel here. So now we're moving on to the longer piece here. So this one has a small cutout here. Align it right on the edge here, like how we did it with the lower panel. You can stick the film there, just so it holds it in place. And just make sure you're covering everything underneath here so it should be like this this section here will go wrapped around here and this should cover here so give yourself a little bit of material to cover the curve just like that and then we'll just apply heat afterwards so once you have it tacked down lift the film carefully and just align it to the panel and make sure you're covering the whole panel and now we grab our squeegee and start tacking down the whole film. Make sure to remove any air bubbles that are behind the film. And then once we're done, we will apply heat to remove any small fingers around the edges and just seal the top edge as well. Time to apply heat to finish it off. On this edge, just make sure if you have excess material to trim it off. And then once you trim off the extra material, you should be good for the next install. And that should be it. And now we move on to this section. Okay, so now we're moving on to the upper piece here. So with this one, we have to separate it into two pieces. That way you're able to align the film and place it to the panel. So with this one, start off from this side and align it right in the middle of the outline of the grill. If you pass it just a little bit, that should be fine. Just as long as you align it somewhere in the middle. And now once we have it on the middle, just work your way on installing the rest of the film. And it should reach up to this edge here. Now grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film little by little. Take your time. And for this area here and on this edge here, we're going to apply heat since there is a small curve on the panel. That way we help the film tack down to the curve. To apply heat here and also here. So apply heat, let it cool off and use your finger to tack it down. And now that we finished tacking down the film, 
we would trim off all this excess material that we don't need. To find the gap between the grill and the plastic panel, and just trim off all this excess material. And just apply heat one more time to help it take down. Okay, and now we move on to the last piece, which is this piece here, this whole long section here. So for this last piece, align it where we left off with this panel. So just align it. You can also lift the hood just so it's easier for you to access this area and just align it. Once you have it aligned on this area, lift the film and just carefully start aligning it to the rest of the panel. And now you just grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film. And if you need to adjust the film, you could always lift it. Just lift it carefully and readjust the film. And then just apply heat around the curved area to help it flatten out. Let it cool off and then just use your finger to tack it down. And it should feel flush right here. And that's pretty much it for this installation. The last thing would be to trim off any extra material that you have on the top layer here. And once you trim it off, we would just go to the last step, which is post heating the whole entire film. So once you finish installing the whole set on the whole grill, the last thing to do would be to post heat the entire panel. That way we help that adhesive act very faster. And also we help any film that's still lifting, tacking it back down with heat. So just use your heat gun, go all around the panel, just to ensure that we help the film tack down to the panel. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. So remember, the same steps that we did for the first section of the panel, you would just rinse and repeat to the other section. And then once you're done, you would post heat the entire film. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.